a moon shell, a mermaid game. Gonna open it up. Okay, that was the wrong side. We got the rule book here. And remember guys, this video is also this playthrough. Not only will we be showing you all the components and playing it, but we'll try and answer all the questions we yeah. think people might have. In case the rule book didn't answer everything for you. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was written by Callie, so, you know, don't expect too much compared to my <laughs> writing skills for my game. And I'll be, based on the questions that we get to, I'll be building an FAQ that'll go on a website and BGG and all that. Yep. We got the board. So, yeah, the board's going to come out in the game. Now, normally it's not going to look exactly like this, but it's going to be very close. You'll yep. actually have the components that you'll punch out on the top and you'll put them in this bag here. And this is a custom insert, obviously, made for the different pieces of the game. Go ahead, Callie. Yeah, so this is the base game. So you see we have the plastic insert. And if you get the deluxe um, wooden insert, you'll just replace the plastic piece with the wooden. Uh, just literally take it out. Yep, yep, with the wooden pieces. So we got our mermaids, our treasure chest, cards, mermaid bowls, and then our bag with all of the, the tiles, mostly the seashell tiles. Okay, so Michael, you're gonna get a treasure chest. Huzzah. I'll get a treasure chest. And you get to choose a mermaid. So mm. maybe just play the light side. I guess I'll just pick this game. one here. Just okay. a random one. <laughs> the no, one that's no. your favorite one. No I know. No particular it. favorite. Just a uh -huh, random one. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, this one? No. This one's better on camera, I think. Okay. And remember, they have a front and the back. Yeah. And if, we would suggest if you're going to play with the dark side, make them all dark. If, you play all, mm -hmm. if you're going to play with the light side, make them all light. But you don't have to. This game is fully modular. Okay, and then we have our extra tiles under here. So I'm gonna give us each a moon shell. You wanna play with the fish too? Uh, maybe not this game. <laughs> no. Yeah, why not? We never played with them yet. When the final production ones, yeah. We never played with them yet. Let's let's show them. Show them how it works. Okay. So these are extra moon shells. We won't need these. And we've got a ton of sea urchins that we'll set aside. And we'll take our mermaid bowls for our mermaid characters. Okay. And the cards. And that's all we need now. The rest of the stuff yeah. in here actually is a solo yeah, deck. And Kelly's gonna explain how the solo deck works. Do you wanna play with the Later. event deck too? Show them, just show them everything what it does. Okay. Can't hurt, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> these are solo cards, basically one card around. You're going to be flipping these over. This is the reference. And it'll determine which way the computer uh, grabs Which from. column is pulled from by the computer. Yeah. All right, go ahead. And... Okay. Doodly doodly doo. Doo. I'll bring this to the middle here. And our even odd token, which is going to show what uh, way the board rotates. So we'll start on even, which is zero. And with these guys, these are our bonus like little expansion. You uh, take, what is it, number of players? Plus, plus. one, I believe. Do, do. Dun, dun, dun. And then there's other um, rules for two player versus um, versus three or four players as well, where you're actually going to add eight of the sea urchins to the bag as well. But in a two-player game, you do not add them, or do you? You, you do. Oh, you do, okay, yep. and how many do you add? At eight. Because you wouldn't get them Because otherwise. you have more choice when there's only two players. When there's three or four players, there's more scarcity already Well, all the reason the is too, because these things don't come out in a two-player game unless you add them to the game. Yes, yes. But it's mostly about scarcity of resources. <laughs> We want Can't you to make see it, it too easy. The whole experience. Yeah. We're going to play, okay, everything. All right. Everything. <laughs> oh, we'll make it easy how to play. No. Full everything. No, we've already done that. All right, yeah. A lot of our true. viewers have already seen that stuff. Okay. And then we're just going to pull from the bag and place them down and get all the same colors and shapes yeah. because that's just how the game works. <laughs> no. It should, it'll be a mix. So you'll see we have. Once Michael gets those out, of the seashell tiles, there's three, there's four colors and four different types of seashells. 
we have clamshells, sand dollars, augers, and oh, starfish and sand dollars. And then in addition, we have the sea urchin, since this is a two player game, those are coming out early in the game. And then for the expansion content, the lunar reef content, we have the sea anemones and the clownfish. And those ones, you always want to add them together because they are, you have to have both of them in order to score points. All right. And we're also going to play with the events. <laughs> So the events are one card per round will come out and basically change the rules or add an additional action for that round of the game. Oh, and then of course we need our objectives for now the explain game. Explain how these all work because yes. there's a ton of them. There's a ton of objectives. We um, reached a lot of stretch goals during the campaign, which was a lot of fun. And very exciting, <laughs> but means we have a lot of cards. Okay, these are. I did tell you so, organize yeah, before we started. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> it, it's good. It's good. Okay, so the pink ones here are our secret objective cards. Will you shuffle those? Deal two out to each of us, and then we'll choose one and discard the other. The other five decks are here, and we're going to choose one from each color deck. And you can um, choose, generally I recommend choosing, if you're going to use the expansion cards, so they have a little clownfish at the bottom corner of the card, then use clownfish cards for all of them. But you can technically mix it up. It'll just mean your, your game might not be um, as balanced. So what do you want to do? Clownfish? No clownfish? Uh, what? So, oh, well, we can just do the base ones. Okay. Those don't matter. Those, we, yeah, don't mix up the clownfish to begin with, though. That's my suggestion. Yeah. It was balanced with them. Or without them, like with mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. you play either 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 act either the opposite the alternate ones or the normal ones. You can if you want, but just expect a crazier type of game. Yeah, where you're uh, competing a lot more. So I'm just choosing these ones so we can choosing. Well, We're I'm supposed just to choose. choosing. I'm picking the first one that comes up because, oh. so I don't pick a clownfish one. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. they're, they're random, at least. Yes. And here's the first one. All right. And they're made so that way you're going to see different colors and different shapes. You won't likely get a bajillion All purples. All of the same, yeah. And the reason why that's why we talk about the clownfish is because if you have a couple clownfish here and a couple non, you could get all purple. It's not. It's very unlikely, but it's possible. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so I've got my objective here. Oh, we got yeah, the five yeah, different objectives that we're trying to achieve based on where we place our shells and whatnot on our board. Um, while she chooses, uh, this is going to be for pairs of white and orange. For each pair of white and orange, you can get a total number of six pairs. You can score two points for each. So if I have this and this on my board in any in anywhere you want on your board here, you're going to get two points uh, for each set. And they only each count once, but for each objective. Then you go over here. This is a purple square. So two purples and then two more purples on top. Eight points. You can score it once. Trove, whoever has the most pink shells, scores six points. And whoever has uh, tied, they'll both score six points, or all players will score six points. Anyway, without uh, six, with the highest, then you get nothing. Collector is one point for each clamshell, any color. And then this up here is patterns of sand dollars. And if you can make this little pattern here, you'll get ten points. All right, you got a message there. Can't yeah. stay tonight. <laughs> Early call time. So proud of you. I'm sort of my copy of Moonshell. Can't wait to play. Keep up the amazing. Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate it. I hope you're doing very well. It's been a bit. <laughs> Definitely yeah. got to connect, man. I, I really appreciate it. And if you didn't get the wooden urn insert from the campaign, it won't be on our website, but it will be on the Sandbox Gaming website. Yeah, if you're still in the area, we got to <laughs> come by and say hello. I haven't seen you in a good minute, man. All right, oh, well, okay. I, will, I will let you go, but I appreciate it. I really do. It's nice to see you friends from a long time ago yeah. supporting us still okay so we've got our moon our mermaid here 
Yes. And we've got our wonderful, wonderful moon shell. Oh yeah, so the moon shell is the wild piece. So as we're collecting seashells on our treasure chest board, you can also, uh, as an action, collect your moon shell wild piece. It counts as every shape and every color for any of the objectives, including your secret objective. Nice. Okay. All right. Are you are you ready to go? I uh, yeah. Let's let's go. Oh, you want to go I first see. or second? Uh, up to you. Up to me. <laughs> What's the rule? Um, it's the last person who visited a body of water. <laughs> Oh, goes first. Oh. I know we're always together, so it doesn't help us. Mm. All right, so I'll <laughs> you let, clean the pool ass. I'll so. let I'll let you go first, and I will organize the board. Yes. Because whenever you're the, the last player, always gets to rearrange the board. And remember, whatever side is facing you is where you pull from. And I so not rearrange, but rotate it. Yeah. And yeah. I am going to rotate it. Well, I mean, at the beginning, you can arrange it in any way you want, as long yeah, as it's yeah. facing you. To you can rotate with. it as much as you'd like. I'll rotate it just like that. That's and how I want it. pull all the purples over to you. No, huh. if I pull... I see all, that. Uh, look, these are more purples That's, over here. Yeah, this is where the double purples are together. There's a double purple on this side, too. <laughs> yeah, no, where I can't get it. <laughs> I'm sorry. It wasn't, I'm not going for the purples. <laughs> yeah, you are. Uh, okay. Whatever you think. Go uh -huh, ahead. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, most pink. So you have three Orange actions. And white. Yep. So you can... Rotate, pull, and collect. And right? they're listed on your treasure chest board. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it uh, makes it really easy to, to remember. Yeah. Okay. So oh, ro so words. rotate. You can rotate 90 degrees, and you'll ro when you're playing with the mermaid powers, you'll rotate based on what the coin says. Um, so right now we'll be going counterclockwise until we start using our mermaid powers, and then that'll help flip this so you can kind of combine your mermaid powers with what direction you want to rotate. Pull two, you'll pull, you'll choose a column in front of you and pull two down on the rocks in front of you. Oh, uh, so you missed the time about the number of clownfish and urchins. So clownfish and urchins is number of players plus one. So we're playing two players, mm -hmm. so there's three of each, right? Yes. Uh, and then the number of urchins is only for two players do you put in eight. eight. at the beginning, yeah. Otherwise you don't they, put They don't in. come out until after all the seashells the seashell bag is yeah. empty. All the urchins stay out for a three and four player game until this bag runs out. When the bag runs out over there, you put the rest of these in there so that way, basically the board starts filling up with a bunch of nasty mm -hmm. stuff, meaning that, hey, hurry up, start finishing kind the board Kind of a timer out. as well, yeah. The scarcity of the, the seashells. First what happens is this event. It says immediately rotate the board twice. You check where it's going to be, mm -hmm. and then you're going to rotate it twice. So it'll go one, and then it's going to go two, Okay. And now, those now are... I can get my purple. So I'll pull two for my first action. Slide down. New seashells. New tiles. And that one action, second action, I'll I'm gonna check here. Yes. Pull this one. And um, this one here. All right. And now your turn. So I pulled, I did a pull two, and then I collected twice. Hmm. This hurts a little bit. I don't like this either. I kind of want that, but I don't want this. I can only rotate mm -hmm. this way. Unless you use your mermaid power. Yeah, I can pull the frontmost tiles from two adjacent columns into the open rock space. Hmm. But that counts as a pull action. Uh, yeah. So the light side mermaid powers augment one of your three actions. So if I wanted, I couldn't get these two with this guy, right? Because it says two adjacent columns, right? They so have I'd have to, be... to pull like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is correct. Oh, you put me in a worrisome <laughs> state of affairs. There's so many things I need. Mm-hmm. 
I'll take these two. These will okay. drop. We'll fill the board there. Yes. And your mermaid comes out. You're using your mermaid power. So I just place it right there. Yep. And this will and flip. And we'll flip. Because there's one mermaid out, so now we're at an odd number of mermaids. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> I got one more and action, right? So you pulled, and then you collected, and you collected. So that's three. Oh, all right. I'm done right. then. All right. Now it's back around to my turn. We'll pull another event card and see what happens. All right. Oh, no. This is an interesting one. Will you read it, Michael? Yeah. Immediately, each player may remove any one tile from their treasure chest board and place it back in the bag. Well, this so would be useful early game, late game, yeah. but not for me right now. Yeah, it's you a start. May, do so you it's a do it? I would do not want to do I it. I don't either, so that's it. Okay, and that's it. And I will pull two. Oh, I'm here. Yeah, you place them there. I think we suggested the outside in, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Don't it's cheat. Just, just random. <laughs> and I will collect. Oh, uh, I'm going to collect my moonshell piece, actually. Really? Yeah. So I can collect this one next and put it on top there. Oh, she wants her array. Yep. <laughs> okay. And that will be it, since the moonshell counts as a collect action. Your turn. Hmm. So yes, I already have the array here. Now this guy here stays out until the end of my of this turn, correct? Yes. So it's still gonna rotate this way. Hmm. For your turn. That's why it's uh, helpful to plan ahead with your using your mermaid. Well, that was all part of the plan. <laughs> Good. That's awesome. And then she's going to come back. Yep. And, and that's going to flip. Gonna flip. Okay. All right. And now, oh, and you collected your moon shell too. I did. Remember, you, you if did you don't, too, so. yeah, if you don't use it, then the game is worth four points. So you want to get at least four points of value out of it. And this just counts as a shell that is technically on or on any of these rocks in front of you. It's just it's just a, an action that you can just play once a game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, the event card. Each player may pull one tile as a free action during their turn, even if there's only one rock space available. So normally, I wouldn't and Michael wouldn't be able to pull two right now because we have we could only pull one. There's a shell or a tile blocking the rock space. Mm. But with this event, which is very similar to my mermaid power, you can pull just one. So. And okay. I think I'm going to do that because I want to pull this one down here. So that's my one use of the event card for this turn. And I will collect it and I will rotate. No. <laughs> okay. And now it's your turn. <sighs> All right. Hmm. We can pull two or one. These two are coming out. All right. This one's going here. And this one will go here. Uh -huh. That's it. That's it. Okay. New event. Each time a player collects a tile, they must rotate the board. Oh, okay. So if you collect, you got to rotate. Okay. I think we I think we could do this. Uh I'm going to pull two. Ooh, I take into yeah. the little <laughs> well, figure, you know, show what it's all about. It's super useful, yeah. Yeah. 
I'm you can gonna... get three points from one space with those yeah, tiles. Yeah, if you can get both of these tiles. I'm going to collect the clownfish for my second action. And, and it doesn't then... matter if this goes down first and then this one or this right. one. Right, it doesn't one. matter what order. They And they're going to share space, so um, that's awesome. And then I have to rotate since I collect it. And it's going to rotate this way. Uh, and that does not count as an action. So I've only done, well, I've done two actions. And. Ooh. Rotate again. <laughs> I could use my mermaid power, I guess. I could actually pull. But I might not, I'm not guaranteed to get that one. No, you might get it. Next huh? round. I don't want any of these, though. Okay. Okay, I'm just rotating it again. And your turn. Mm. Did you like that? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Not really. You can kind of mess up other players, but usually because there's so much going on with your own board, there's not enough real <laughs> brain power left to try to, to mess with other people that much. <laughs> One. I feel like anyway. I don't want this at all. Two. No. Three. Hopefully that hurt you because you <laughs> hurt me did. drastically. You hurt me drastically. Oh, so. I did. Okay. Oh, yeah. I didn't pull anything. I rotated three times. Yeah. Wow, well, yeah. Or I rotated twice and I pulled. So, but I don't have anything new on my board. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. These, these things are getting in my way. And yeah. now I pulled this here, here down, so it's been kind of annoying. Hanging out there. Okay, a new event card. Immediately, each player may take a sea urchin tile from the stock or bag and add it to their treasure board for free. Yeah, it just lasts until the end of the round, so that's gone uh, now. Now we're on here. Each player may take a sea urchin. So we can, if we want, take one of these. Ooh, I do not want one right now. All it's right. a good way to end the game quicker, but it's at a cost of losing potential points you can Yeah, get. potentially a lot of points. I do not want it either yet. <laughs> okay, I need... Battle of the wits now. Battle yeah. of the brains. These are not the seashells that I need. <laughs> These are not the seashells. I know. <laughs> They're not. Okay. And I want to rotate the other way, but if I use my power, then I can't do what I want. Very tricky. Okay, I am. Is this even worth anything? Not yeah, really. Yeah, you can get pink there. Pink. Yeah, you've already got four though. I guess I can. Try. Okay, I'm gonna collect this one. One. And then. I will. Come on, you. I know. Okay, okay. I will pull here. And I will rotate. No! Sorry, I don't like those. <laughs> One, two, oh. Go ahead. Ouch. New event. Each player may rotate the board twice as a free action during their turn. Rotating only once will cost an action. Alright. <laughs> I want to do... Okay. Uh, free action. I'm going to rotate twice. My first action. Rotate once. Finally get where I want. And then I'm going to use my Mermeeple power, which allows me to pull just one onto the rocks. What I've been trying to do last yeah, three you, turns. you wasted <laughs> all my turns, and then you just got a freebie here that's going to help and you. And then this will rotate here. Um, and then I will collect the sea anemone, so my clownfish has a home. They can go right there. Mm-hmm. And the third action, I will uh, yeah, 
yeah, I'll just I'll collect here. Uh, okay. Oh, sorry. Free action for two. Yeah. Third turn in a row. I'm gonna rotate this for one action. I'm gonna take this for one action. Hmm. Do I want that? Do I need that for anything? I don't think I do. Hmm. I'll just rotate. No, actually, I can't just pass, can I? No, we have to do something. So you always have to use all three actions because you could always rotate. Hmm. I'm all, I'm yeah, I'm only one space ahead of you as far as filling the board because the game is gonna end as soon as one person fills their treasure chest, and then the we'll finish the round. I don't want this. <laughs> Alright. Not that useful. No. <laughs> okay. New event card. Each player must rotate the board after their turn for a free action. So after we take our turn, we'll rotate the board based on what... Uh, you played this what? last round, right? Yes, so okay. at the end of my turn, that'll come back and then I'll rotate for the event. So, so that means I can't use my ability. Okay, I'm gonna rotate once. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull Push me to get in these nasty things. And then I'm going to collect. This, my, the mermaid bowl will come back. That'll go there. And I have to rotate for the event. Mermaid power. <laughs> Trying to screw me over at every turn you no. get, aren't you? I'm just minding my own business, going after my own pretty seashells in the ocean. No. Oh, no, I can't do that. I can't do that. They it has to be, to be adjacent. All right, these two then. Okay. All right. That was one. This is two. And that will be... Three, I suppose. All right, that's it. Ooh. You ready for the next event? Okay, wait. The, you gotta rotate it. Oh, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, I'm just gonna move like this. Move back this way. All right. Wow, you. I keep getting this nasty stuff over <laughs> and over keeps, again. Yeah, we keep using this. No, you keep throwing the nasty stuff on my side. Don't play with Not Kyla. She's literally a cheater. Immediately rotate the board. Okay, let's rotate it one more time. Good. At least I don't have to be like both of these. <laughs> yeah. Until she puts her dang mermaid um, back out. No, I'm not going to right now. But I will... Which one do I want? None of them. Pass <laughs> turn. Rotate three times like I had to. I'm going to pull these guys. We run out of shells? Not yet. Okay. It should be fairly close. And then I will collect... And I will collect. Oof. Okay. What can I do here? <laughs> I grab another. I don't need another pink. You literally cannot beat me in pink now. You only yeah. have two. Yeah. I cannot I get up. my objective. I, I end up getting this. I can't get another white and orange. You got this one, though. I can get a white. I can get an orange. Rotate mm -hmm. and take one. I would get an extra turn, though, because you went first. Yeah, you could end it here if you wanted to. And I wouldn't be able to 
fill my empty my treasure my chest. question is is there anything is there a point to why i would stop you from doing that at this point i have to think about what her objective card is too and it could be any of the objective cards huh yep you don't there's um i believe 16 12 16 different ones 16 mm. it was 12 base and then 16. i don't think you were looking for anything specifically though I think well, I could get this one. I could get another pair. Actually, this one got me a point. You know what? All right, I will end it. I'll take yeah, this one, point and, and then I'll point. take this one. Yeah. I'm going to end up That's with the good. sea urchin. And because I was the second player, that ends the game because we've both got equal turns and someone filled their board up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then we go straight into scoring. It's yep. that easy. We literally can take the board away. You could just move it to the side, however you want to do it. Pull these out here. And put our treasure chest. Yeah, you can. Pull them up a little. Yeah. You can just see the treasure chest. <laughs> it's that easy. Really simple. All right, and only get a piece of paper and pencil, or you want to just read out, score them out? Um, yeah, get paper. And we can. Paper not included. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I am working on a little printable score sheet for those who like to have some sort of uh little chart or grid to to uh tally up your scores or if not you can just use scratch paper or your phone calculator okay i've got it i've got it we'll start okay. with the we'll just go in order right or yep. is there an order uh any order okay and we'll write so c pair. for callie <laughs> and m for michael and then we'll do a big line you guys can kind of read that. Okay. Pairs. I have two One. pairs. Yes, you've got two whites and two oranges because the moon shell counts as literally anything and can score for each of these objectives. So that's four points. So that, that's two oranges, and then you can use any of these whites. So four points. I only got one pair because mm -hmm. there's no other orange or white included with this one. So two points. Sad days. Okay. Array. We need four purple of any shape. You got it right here. Square. Yes. So that's I got points. it up here. Yep. Eight points to each of us. Trove. So only one person can score this one, or two if you're tied. Five. And Michael and has two. Pink, five pink. I only have two. He gets the six points. Collector, one point for each clamshell. Four points. Mm -hmm. And I got one, two, three, four as well. Oh, close again. Now we both used our moon shell, so we get nothing for that. Well, you have composition. Too. Oh, sorry, composition. Yeah. One, two, three, and four. Okay, you got ten points there. You didn't get that. And I didn't. Oh no! no. <laughs> Depends on if you got your secret objective. I think then, sea urchin. Michael gets one point. Yeah. And then clownfish and sea anemone. I get three points. Oof. And now we'll reveal our secret objective. Oh, eight. you got eight points? <laughs> yes, so I needed to get a T-shape of the same shapes, any color. And I have it right here. Did you get yours too? Uh, basic objective. It's the uh, same color. Five. Pink, oh, pink, same. pink, pink. Okay, and you got it once. Yeah, I, I was going Trying for it down here, twice. but then I realized I would get more points from doing it up here. Mm -hmm. And if I could get both of these, I could get my array, which you kept well. moving the board around so I couldn't get the dang thing. <laughs> you needed that one piece that whole time. So you got five. Okay, it's going to be very close then. I don't think so. I think I got you. <laughs> Nine, 12, 16, 18, 19, 27 points for Callie. Respectable, respectable. Uh, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 29, 37 points for me. What? Alright, 10, 10, oh, 36. 36? 36. Okay, 36. 10, so 10, 10. I was trying to give myself a bonus point. <laughs> And that's the game. Uh, usually you don't get more than about a 10 point difference in the game. If you do, it's pretty, you did pretty good. <laughs> you did pretty good. This helped out a lot. Good. Yeah. Being able to get this and then combined, this helped. You combined um, the two yep. big well, I combined, cards. I combined here. my objective. I combined the four here. And I combined uh, the array as yeah. well. The solo game is actually 
pretty similar to a two-player game, but you're playing against, where you're playing against sort of a second player who isn't there, an AI character. Uh, so we'll choose some different objectives, a uh, different setup, and all of that. Okay, I gotta move all of Michael's stuff out of the way here. So the key thing to remember in cleanup too is not to put the, the moon shells in the bag. Everything else though usually can, can go in there. Remove the sea urchins if you're not going to play another two player or solo. But otherwise, those can go in here. And if you're just joining us, this is Moonshell, a mermaid game. I designed this game and we kickstarted it um, last year. Well, almost last year now. It was this past March. And we raised enough to make the game, manufacture it in China, send it out to the backers, which is happening right now, and sell the extra copies online. There's extra copies on unfilteredgames.com, and there's some fun t-shirts as well on there. So if you're interested, check it out. Help support us creating more, more games that are... A little unique uh, add some different things we haven't seen to the industry I think uh, like a game all about mermaids and the site will stay open even after we sell a lot of stuff because we'll probably have some more games coming out in the future if people are still interested if this one is then they can see the true glory of my game designing skills of course <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. It was a very similar setup to two-player game. You gotta check the setup, check the uh, different oh, modes. Oh no, I'm getting the cards. So there's different modes you can play. Yes. Do you want to challenge yourself or just show them the basic rules? Oh. Uh, well, was just to gonna. You. Well, I kept everything we played with so far except the event cards. So the solo player as well has a solo reference card, so you can have that just out to sort of remind you what the uh, AI player actions are and how to do that. So that's very convenient there. And you'll play, you'll choose a mermaid and can choose a mermaid power, but the AI doesn't get a mermaid. How many points did I get? 36? 30, yes. Okay, wow. So I was, I was a, in, in, if that was a solo mode, I would have gotten Siren. So, and what'd you get, yeah. 20? Seven? Seven. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is the little Healthy. breakdown. Yeah. You can, I will show you um, when the top down happens. We haven't done the top down yet. But actually, I can put, put it up like this. You can kind of see it. There's a little breakdown. So you need 45 points to do the, the possible best. That is so hard. But we've had... But it's easier to do it in a solo mode than it is to do yes. in... Yes. Yes. You have more options for what seashells you take as well if you're playing with the moon shell and the... Um, oh, I won't put in... How, what we're supposed to have the additional clownfish and see an enemy in there there so um it really is possible and you don't have to leave all the mermaid objective cards out decks because you don't pull any new ones from the deck it's just fun to see you them still get one of these guys. on the table yes thank you so very very similar to two player i'll choose i'll draw two just set them aside and choose one. All right, I think this is the one to go for. Put this one away. All right. Okay. Oh, thank you. And we yeah. won't need these sea urchins. Nope. And don't need, need those. These. And don't need the other mermaid Bye -bye. <laughs> But we have the solo cards. And. Yeah. And the rotator. And in fact, I'll go ahead and be the solo person. Uh, you don't you don't need an extra person for no. this, but uh, for the sake of filming and making and things time. quicker, I will do it. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, objectives that we have. We have pairs of pink and white this time. Our array is this orange sort of wave, orange waves of any shapes. The trove, uh, player with the most purple shells. So yes, I'm competing with the AI for that one. And collector, I want to collect some uh, starfish. And composition, we have augers that are in a pretty long kind of diagonal shape. 
All right. All right. Oh, and fill the board. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. Thank you. <laughs> Gotta mix them all up thoroughly. Yes, yes, because we, I mean, it's fine. <laughs> And the tiles are double-sided. We went ahead and did that. It makes it easier because they're in a bag. You don't see them anyway. Okay. okay. So this game plays exactly like the... Yeah. So I have the original. So I have three actions I can choose. Rotate, pull two, collect. I can do any combination of those three actions. And oh, I got to take a look at your secret objective as well as the different objective cards. Did you pick two? And you yes. Take and pick one? Pick okay. two chose one put the other back on the deck and you can reveal that it's not a secret oh yeah i guess okay <laughs> it's not a secret anymore it's solo it okay so my objective is one shape for uh choose one shape to be in it's an, an l, l shape. of any shape yep yep and, and any, any color. one shape any color yep exactly and the ai cannot score points for this even if they randomly magically well, somehow it's because get it's your it. objective yes exactly if you want to make it more challenging you can give the ai every other one it won't matter because they're not going to get any of these <laughs> you'll see how it plays i am going to first pull two for my first action oh it's handy to have another person there to, to fill the board for you <laughs> oh really <laughs> and i will collect this orange auger and place it so remember when you collect they'll sink down to the bottom of your treasure chest and i have one more action left i can collect again or do something different so and always use your mermaid too and you got your yes, extra little my extra moon shell you can always use to choose to collect this as an action and i will yeah i might as well collect again and this time i will collect over here Okay. Now it's the AI's turn. AI is very simple in this game. It's basically kind of like uh, Jamie's style of automata system, where it's mm -hmm. it's always going to rotate once, um, and then re then remove from the order of actions. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so you'll re you'll move you'll rotate once based on this. So AI is just going to go doodle doodle doo to mess with you. Mm -hmm. Then it's going to pull two, uh, if, and if, if possible, possible, it'll draw. Uh, so pull draw two a card if possible. And pull two tiles. Yeah. Uh, so where do you pull two from? Well, you'll reveal this. Five. One, two, three, four, five. These two get pulled. Doesn't matter the area. And then you're going to go ahead and collect. If possible, you'll collect a tile. And you'll collect. Yeah, yeah. And you'll collect, and then you can go ahead and place it literally anywhere on the board. It doesn't really matter. And refill once the computer AI is done. And we're done. Yeah. And if you're a little bit of a smarty pants, you could probably figure out what numbers are left and where he's going to pull from to try and avoid the computer or the AI's like algorithm. When there's one card left here, you'll take them all and shuffle them. Yeah. And then my turn. Are there more augers for me? Yes. Okay. And... I want orange augers, I think. Uh, are these, these chip? Let me ask you, these are chipboard. They're, they're very thick um, card, like they're, cardboard. Like, no, yeah. I don't know. Like, think about board and dice uh, tokens or tiles. Uh, these are like those, but maybe yeah. an extra thickness. And the ocean board is even thicker. Yeah. So very nice uh, thickness to but that. Yeah, they do have a little bit of a clicky sound. <laughs> yeah. They're not gonna. You you probably couldn't bend these unless you literally took the very ends and pulled them. They're mm -hmm. they're basically mm -hmm. indestructible. Bag, Aziz. Aziz bag. <laughs> and yeah, I'll go ahead and collect this one and collect this one. On my way. Now it's AI's turn. I'm all right. Rotate. So let's go ahead and rotate to mess you up all a right, bit. All right. Maybe that'll help you. It could. So that's what you don't know. And then we'll pull from over here, and these will fall down, and then we'll recuperate with mm -hmm. the bag here. And then we're going to go ahead and click. Yeah. Place. And it doesn't matter which. I usually just say collect from the left side first. Yeah. I think in the rules. 
I'm sure there are rules for it. <laughs> and then it's my turn again. How am I going to get... I think I'll have to get this one a different way and maybe use my moonshell piece there. So I can try to get some orange over here. Co pole two. Hey, Gary, how you doing? Hey. Yeah, Gary and Shane, we got all you guys. It's nice to see you all. Hopefully you guys have gotten the co well, Some of you guys might have the deluxe, so you probably don't have the game yet. In all its yeah, glory. Yeah. <laughs> and then AI player. Doodle 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 doodle. And this is very very complex style of AI. <laughs> I made it myself. And for extra challenge, the AI yeah. always takes an actual seashell. A seashell if possible. <laughs> uh -huh. I do not like, well, actually, this one can be any color. The game is very, like, modular. You can set the difficulty yourself. We have specific rules, but you don't have to follow them because the game was mm -hmm. mathematically made so that you could make it as hard or as easy as you'd like. If you have little kids, obviously, make the AI take these guys instead. Yep. I'm going to collect. I'm going to pull these two. Thank you, Michael. And I will collect one more time the orange. Okay. I don't okay. even know if it's really fair to say AI. I don't know if, is it <laughs> technically an AI? No, I, I mean, the other, the second player, the, the, um, oh. it's just, it's going in a certain order based on available actions. So. Right. It's kind of an algorithm, right? <laughs> or a set of the processes. Logic logic steps okay and you can since there's only one yep. card left you can yeah. go ahead and the next shuffle next it. turn when you would see just one you would reshuffle it basically yes you're right. right and this is also a little bit of a timer so you can see down here at the bottom there's been four turns the maximum there's ever going to be is 12, 12 turns. rounds yeah for the so 12 well. rounds yes i'm going to collect my moon shell as an action place it here and then i'm going to use my mermaid power I think yes and place it here I'm, I'm still using the light side one so I can choose one tile and now I think I want this pink one here so my power lets me pull just one seashell instead of two so even if there's one spot blocked I can still pull and yes the coin will flip you and, do the same one as last time huh yeah I, I just I just kept it and I'll collect this one Okay. Now the second player's turn. So now it's going to rotate back this way. No, Josh is here too. Okay. All my missing so members. This one, so we did the first action to rotate. And now actually the player can't pull two because there's a sea urchin in the way. So, so we'll skip that to, one. They have to take this. Yes. And then they'll check. They can't rotate again, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, they one. can't collect again. They must then pull, and they're going to have to draw a card. The third area, they'll pull. Mm -hmm. That was his third action, so he's basically just done. Yep, that's it. So it also kind of fills the board up. It's a little bit of a timer. It fills the board up, kind of removes certain pieces you may want, mm -hmm. or may not in your case, I don't know. Yeah, so I need one more sand dollar, so I'm just going to go ahead and collect this one. I like that one. And... There's only one, I guess I could go, yeah, I'll go for, I'll pull here. So collect, pull, and then you can put the seashells out. And I'll collect one more time. I'm going to try to get the um, clownfish and sea urchin combo for the last spot there. Okay. And then this will go here, and this will flip here. And one more round. No, that's it, right? You're done. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm done. I forgot. Okay. <laughs> oh, well. I, mean, I didn't do anything then. <laughs> you didn't. Yeah, does that just basically end it then for you? Yeah, it fills yeah it up? that's correct. Yes. Yeah. 
Oh, sad right. days. I wouldn't have gotten anything from this one either. So rule so. of thumb is don't use the, don't try and don't do that on the last one. <laughs> I guess if you have two actions left, you could. Yes. Right. If it was like this, you could go, and this pull, was in front pull. of you, you could pull and then pull and mm -hmm. put it on your board. Okay, but no yep. dice. Okay. All now right. same thing. Just oh, you you want to keep this board out though for the trove. Oh yeah. 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 So a little extra. We don't score points with him, by the way, guys. Nope. This is just there to uh, reference. Ref reference mainly just for the trove. most. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Paris, first of all, let's go and mark for her. She's, she's got two white and two pink. That's four points. Then we're going to go to array. She did get the array here. So that's going to be eight points. And then we're going to check her trove. And she scored the trove. Two versus the computer's one. Barely. Which you should always <laughs> be able to get. But it does force it you does to take force, purples, yeah. which mm -hmm. you may, may, may or may not want. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's going to be six points. Yeah. Starfish, you've been netted one um, and two. Yeah. And then did you get the composition as well? Yes. One, With two, three, show. and four. That's ten points. Yeah. Then your secret objective. I got my secret objective. Where is it? You flip it this way. One, two, three. Oh, wow. Okay, there you go. Uh -huh. eight, eight points. And... I used my moon shell. Moon shell. There's no sea urchins on here, and mm -hmm. you didn't get your clownfish, which no. you could have got another one. Yeah, yeah. I think you still probably did pretty good. Um... <sighs> We'll check the rule book. I don't, I don't think you score, scored Mer Queen though. Sadly. No, no, that's very challenging. It's meant to be challenging. It's, too. it's meant to be impossible. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Eight, eight and four. Twelve. Okay, six and two is eight. Then we got eighteen. Uh, Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eight, Thirty-eight. Eighteen. Thirty-eight points. All right, then you pulled a siren, siren. which is the, the second best rank. Nine mm -hmm. forty. So you're only off by seven, seven points. points. So and it's possible, right? Because you technically yes. could have gotten... So if I was comboing my orange ones more with the collect orange ones and the... Um, yeah, if I was comboing more with this, got more collectors, that would have helped me a lot. In and addition, getting three the three points, points here. Yeah, yeah. That even, could, the, even if there was another possible Even if, if this one had been white too... That would have given me another pair. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, and yeah, basically, but that's still really high. But how is that? Because I didn't need an score? orange one here. <laughs> you beat my last score. I had thirty-six to yeah. to your thirty-eight here. So it's easier to score points in the solo mode. You have a game. little more choice. <laughs> and yeah, you can literally add anything you want to the game um, in the solo mode if you mm -hmm. prefer mm -hmm. to make it more challenging or add more stuff. You can play with the mermaid powers. You don't have to. Um, you can play with the lunar wreath tiles or not the moonshell tile or not especially if you want to level it down for for newer players or for younger players like ages eight you can play uh very much so with just the base objectives all right mm -hmm. so those are the two different ways to play uh, moonshell uh there is a third way well three and four player nope <laughs> what's the way you've made oh oh puzzles <laughs> so we did unlock uh, Moonshell Puzzles, which used the tiles. Do you have a actually a, a cutout to show them one of the, the patterns? Uh, yes, but it's it's in my office. I don't want to give it away There's by playing it. <laughs> yeah, show them one <laughs> Okay, example. okay, okay. Well, this is a later, a later puzzle, actually. But, okay, so if we have all of these in here, I know this one has to be pink, and which shell type is missing it's How do I know the sandal pink? couldn't it be in the far oh, other row so or this column? this row right here this space particular ah. i'm looking for well there's already a white there's already purple there's already orange this one has to be pink there's already a starfish there's already clamshell there's already auger has to be a uh sand dollar so i put that one there and now i know i only have one pink left that could be useful as well I know there's already pink all along in this column, this column, this column. So I know the pink has to be somewhere along here. It's already in this row, this row, and this row, which leaves this spot right here. So those are the two main methods for um, sort of deducing using logic to figure out where the pieces go. Another option is you can kind of do a little guess and check, right? If you know, oh, I know this one has to be 
here or here. You could try it out, see if it works. If it doesn't, take the pieces off and start again. So the guess and check method as well. Sometimes, sometimes you have to resort to that. <laughs> And that's the Moonshell Puzzles, which will be available to download and print and play on the website, as well as BGG, BoardGameGeek.com. Thank you guys so much for watching the Moonshell two-player game and the Moonshell solo player game. I hope you learned how to play. We answered your questions. And if you have any questions, feel free to add them in a comment. Let us know. I'm compiling an FAQ if, if we need it for the website and the Board Game Geek listing for anyone to find. They have similar questions, but hopefully did an okay job with the rule book and they're not, not too many. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, we look forward to see you guys next time.